Welcome to the CCA MacBook Backup Guide. In this segment, we'll cover how to create a burn folder to hold your files prior to burning to a DVD. Now we're going to create a burn folder to hold all the backup files and folders temporarily before they're burned to a disk. If you're using a flash drive or a portable external hard drive connected to your Mac, you can skip this step and instead simply drag the files and folders to that external medium. From the, from the desktop or from a finder menu, simply select File, New Burn Folder. We'll create this on the desktop to make it easily accessible later. You can see a new burn folder is created here. Rename the folder something more useful. I'm going to call it Kale's Backup. Go ahead and open the burn folder and you'll see that at the bottom of the folder it says zero items, minimum disk size 1.3 megabytes. As we add files and folders to this backup burn folder, this file size will increase, letting us know how, whether our backup is going to fit on a single DVD or whether we'll need more than one. For example, I'll drag a few files and folders in there now. I have a few screenshots here. We'll drag each of those into the backup folder. You can see now, because they're not very large, the file size has only increased to 2.2 megabytes. If we drag a larger file, such as this preschool graduation DVD backup, the file size increases to 1.04 gigabytes. Now we're using a little bit less than a quarter of a full DVD. Each DVD holds 4.7 gigabytes, so we're still perfectly within range. As I start to add more files and folders, such as my music folder here from my home folder, we're now up to 4.71 gigabytes, one one hundredth of a gigabyte over the limit for a DVD. Now we're going to need you to pull out files and folders to make enough space to fit one DVD. If you need to make, if you have enough files and folders that they're not going to fit on a single DVD from the desktop again, you can simply create another burn folder. This time I'll call it Backup 2 and add all the existing files and folders that do not fit on the first DVD to this folder. When you're ready to burn your disk, it's as simple as selecting burn and inserting a blank DVD. And now it's again time for a quick review. Create your burn folder on the desktop for easy accessibility. Note the size of the burn folder as you add files and folders. If your files will not fit on a single disk, simply create another burn folder. When you're ready to burn your disk, select burn from the burn folder and insert your disk. 